Yeah. All right, let's ride. Folks, we're rolling out of uh, Pub Street here, CM Reek. We're heading over to the Floating Village, Floating Market. I think here they call it Floating Village. But we're rolling strong. But the main Batman got tied up, so he sent his uh, one of his crew members here. Robin. Yeah, he sent Robin to scoop <laughs> us up. Nice guy. So we're rolling out strong on this little adventure, my friends. Thank everybody for joining me, for riding along. And I'll just show you just a look around the streets of CM Reap for a few minutes. But now I can't really remember, but I don't think I've ever been to this floating market. So this might be a first for me. And tomorrow I'm going to uh, Angkor Wat do some long ass walking tours. All the uh, tour buses. So we'll figure out what's going on at this little location. Might just be a spot to uh, drink some beer and grab some food, local food. So we gotta buy a, buy a ticket apparently. So we will we will check this out and see what's going on. We got these gentlemen here in the white shirts meeting us. All right, my friends. Okay, so yeah, so please enjoy your trip, and I hope it will be okay. And, okay, my uh, friend. Here. You, uh, yeah, wait. You wait for us, my friend. All right. Yes. All right, so we're gonna follow this gentleman and figure out how much the tickets are. But really, what I'm looking for is, is beer. All right, so the Tonley Sap. And here's just a look around, folks. You obviously got a gift shop. And it looks like we got the boats. Just take a look over here, and I know we're not following our guide, but I want to take a look around at what we're going to buy before I buy anything. We might not want to go on this little tour, but I want to figure out exactly what the tour is. And again, like I've told you on any of my travel videos, if you allow yourself to be herded like cattle, then they're going to, they're going to dictate what you do. And I'm looking around here at these big boats, and this is really not what I envision. I envision going to a little floating market, like in Thailand, but these are big, huge boats. And so I want to know, where do these boats take us? And you know what? I'm curious enough that let's just go with this guy and figure out how much the tickets are. But this is, this is not exactly what I what I envision, but that's the part of an adventure. So, okay, so where will we buy the tickets? Over here, my friend? Can you can you tell me about the tour? Where does the boat go? We take a private boat for you, two people. You can see the lake. So it's, from it's a private boat for yeah. two people? Yeah. And how long is the tour? One and a half hour. One and a half hour? Yeah. Okay, how much are our tickets here? $20 per person. It's $20 per person? Yeah. Okay, so twenty dollars per person, my friends, and it's about one point five hours around the lake. You can see Ten Lake Sap Lake. Yeah. Up around the lake, you can see fish farm, crocodile. Fish farm, crocodiles. Nice floating lake in low season, you can see from the boat. Okay, from the boat, yeah. but it's just a small boat for yeah, two yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, folks, we got our ticket, and this is what the guy said: it's a private boat, two people. The ticket was twenty dollars, which, uh, you know, welcome to Cambodia. Our uh, Batman told us it was eight dollars. <laughs> Welcome to Cambo. Ah, some beautiful souvenirs over here. But yeah, so twenty bucks. We're on this tour. That's about twice what we thought we were gonna pay. We're gonna hit the pisser, and then we're gonna take you on this this tour. All right, folks. Now I picked up a sing high for one dollar, and right as I was picking up that sing high, Chinese tour bus came in here. And I'm surrounded by the Great Wall of China. 
So let me navigate through my Chinese brethren here. Get through the Great Wall of China. Past these folks. And I'm telling you right now, I don't see any boats that are a two-man boat. I think we just got snookered. Shit. All right, folks, we'll take a look around here. Take a look around. Where's the two-person boats? Take a big, long gander around here. And we just gave this gentleman our ticket right here. See what he has to say about it. So, I don't know. Maybe we do have a special boat. Because there's not directing us to the uh, Chinese folks over there. He's directing us over here to a private boat. Okay, don't put my head outside. All right. And folks, I'm pulling up right here behind the captain, and the gentleman did not lie. There are only two of us on this boat. And folks, we are about to roll strong up out of here. I got a cold thing, huh? I got the motherfucking captain. I'm gonna tell you right now that water right there is so damn muddy that's worse than a Mississippi catfish pond after you seen the damn thing I don't give a shit I got a oh sound collision had a little collision up there hey, folks we are about to be We're about to be rolling in my 5.0 with the rag tied down so my hair can blow. I'm loving life. He's pushing all these boats over. It's like a fucking bulldozer. Bulldozing them boats. Shit, but I promise you, you don't want to swim in this damn lake. You do not want to swim in the Tonley Sap Lake River. And we're just going to run right over this dude's prop here. Well, we got the captain. Now it's time to roll, my friends. Alright, so that gentleman did not lie. 20 bucks, two people on the boat. And... We are underway. Now I'm just I'm just glad I didn't get packed on that that boat with all them Chinese tourists over there. God, that would be loud. All right. So they're saying this is the biggest lake, Southeast Asia. Then we're gonna see the village, my friends. So very shallow right now. Ah, okay. So he's saying during October the water level is a 12 meters higher. So right now it is very, very low, low tide, so to speak, my friends. The lake is low. So that's going to be a big ass floating platform right there. Double decker. Oh, that's going to be a school. All right. That's a new school right there. Floating school. Only about a, about a meter deep.
some water buffalo over there chilling chilling like villains over there chilling in that water all right folks way over there to our left is a uh, big temple got a whole herd of water buffalo over there too folks this boat over here is stuck they stuck like chuck he got the we got the engine full throttle and you got the man on the front with a bamboo pole they just got stuck on a sandbar that load of chinese tourists ain't going nowhere All right, folks, here we are coming out. This is Tonle Sap Lake, and these gentlemen are gonna, gonna take a little walking tour, and then they're gonna show us around the uh, the village where a lot of folks live. So you know what? At first we were skeptical about this little tour, and now I am 100% glad that we came on this tour. We're only getting into it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's worth 20 bucks. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting out and exploring these little spots right here. Now this looks like an obvious tourist trap, but if you pan over here to where actually all the people live back over there, and, uh, he said we're going to have to take a small boat to get over there so we don't get stuck like the mother jokers. But th this is the tourist trap. But let's, let's check this out and get a couple beers. And then we'll take you folks from there. Now, folks, I want to thank everybody for joining me on this little tour. Coming to you from the Tonle Sap Lake here, right outside Siem Reap, Cambodia, Southeast Asia, my friends. It is a beautiful day with a cool breeze. Yesterday, it was hot as balls in Siem Reap, but today, for some reason, it's just the temperature seemed to have dropped a little bit. Obviously, we're on this lake, but there's a cool breeze coming through. I'm not even sweating right now, my friends. So the captain is coming up. Prepare to beach. Sound collision. The captain's already killed the engines. Got the captain and his first mate on the front here. Captain jumps off, manhandles this vessel. And folks, okay, no problem, my friend. It looks like, uh, I don't know, we got over here some birds. Supposedly, we're going to see some crocodiles somewhere. But here's a look around. Captain's advising to stand by. You don't go against what the captain says. Okay. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go, my friends. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, you coming here. I saw you first. When I'm trying to be like, you can see anything that's here. So this is uh, a boat right here. Local boat. We come with belong to the community for free to see anything inside. But so about your whole trip, 30 to 40 minutes. These little green boats right yeah, here yeah, take yeah. you inside the village? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, if you want to know more something, you can ask this guy here. Okay. okay. All right, sounds good. All right, folks, so he just showed you the local boats. And what do we got over here, my friend? We got a monkey over here. Uh, when up to the village, you can see. All right, hey, how are you? So, I'm very well. Yeah, All right. Here, you want to go to visit inside the village by the small rowing boat. Yes, so that would be nice. So we a local boat in the community. They can show you to see about the local hop, shop market, food, hair, boat, chicken farm, dad farm, pagoda, church school, everything inside the whole village. Okay. For your whole trip, about 30 to 40 minutes, but the price for the small boat is $20 each person. Tw $20? Each yes, sir. per but, person, yeah. About your money, they can pay to take the boat. 50 person in your money, they have to do charity to have the people very poor, they are living on the village. Some more money, they make salary for 45 family that have no job to do for fishing, they right? Have to work for living on the small boat as well. Okay, I got it. All right, give us a few minutes to talk because, uh, you, thank you. yeah, all right. So, folks, let me flip this around. All right, folks, so listen, I, I desperately want to take this little ride over to the local village but I gotta check my funds 
Because when we came out here, our guy told us that it was seven bucks for the boat. And it turned out to be 20. It turned out to be 20. And now this is 20. And to be honest, I don't think I brought enough money. I don't know I didn't. Yeah. So, so I don't think we're going to be going on this trip over here. Um, let me check my money, but... Uh, and look, I know better. <laughs> I know better, right? I, I know better, but... When he described the trip, I thought we were going to a little floating village. I didn't realize we were coming to the Tonle Sap Lake on this tour. It was my bad. I got to check my money, but I don't think we have enough to go on that tour. So we're probably just going to walk around here and then take it from there. And I am hating life because if I had the extra money, we would go. But 20 and 20, 40, uh, I, don't, I don't think I got the money. So let me let me check it out and I'll get right. All right, folks, we just, we just checked our funds and... He, he's rocking he's rocking five bucks and I'm rocking like 20 there we don't got enough to go and it, it's my fault because I know better I've been here before but I was thinking that my our, our buddy was taking us to some little uh, floating market and I'm, I'm regretting not pulling some more money and going but you know what that's what you get if you tell a guy hey it's seven bucks for the boat and I'm thinking all right I got 30 bucks he's got 20 no problem you get here and it's fucking 20 and 20 well that wiped us out so hey it is what it is yeah so um, let me take you for a look over here at these uh, monkeys and stuff we're not going on the tour the inside of the village we're on the tourist trap and we got a little monkey right here uh, playing with a broom he's got some friends the ducks down below he's got a friend over here to talk to mr. chicken so that's a typical typical tourist trap got ducks birds pigeons and this whole monkey right here but at least he's got plenty of food to eat and he's got a broom to play with but unfortunately like I said we're not we're not going on the uh, the, the tour over here of the village 20 bucks a piece that's that's excessive number one number two we just weren't prepared but you know, when you come to Cambodia, you have to understand, and I'm going to talk about this later, but when I first came to Cambodia a decade ago, I left with the impression that the national sport of Cambodia was ripping off tourists. And I'm not talking about ripping you off to the tune of a dollar or two. I'm talking about folks here will swing for the motherfucking fences. My first trip to see him reap, a guy quoted me $100 to take me out to Angkor Wat. And that son of a bitch followed me from bar to bar. I basically had to beat him off with a stick. And then what happened, the next day I found a reasonable gentleman, charged me $7. And so that was my like introduction. People here will swing for the fucking fences to try to rip your ass off. Welcome to Cambodia. Some sh some shit don't change. And like I said, we're in the middle of a tourist trap. And we got some crocodiles here. And this is obviously another reason don't swim in this fucking lake. Because these dudes right here are down in the water. So if this fucking boat goes down, you're going to be competing with these, these jokers right here for fucking survival. It's like Darwin said, everything in nature is engaged in a fucking battle for survival. Oh shit, like this dude here. This son of a bitch just came alive. Oh, this dude here. Ooh, that's a big one too. That big dude right there almost bit that guy's tail off, so he got the fuck out of there. So it looks like the, the king of the jungle is down below. But there are some definite big ass... Fuck, let me check my feet over here because I don't want to lose my fucking toes. You, you better not fall through there, dude. That shit ain't fucking looking too good over there. If this floating village goes down, that, that son of a bitch right there is going to have us for dinner. It's just the way it is. But you know what? Life is short, my friends, so just get to fucking living it. But I am kind of disappointed how these gentlemen... And look, let, let me come over here. Hold on. It, trust me, I know better. I know better 100%. I've been to Cambodia. <laughs> I knew not to believe these guys from the get-go. 
seven bucks for the ride. He said seven or eight bucks for the boat. It's just not what happens in Cambodia. And when we get back, we're probably going to argue the price for the ride. But 20 bucks per person is not $7 for the boat. So we went from 7 to 40 right off the bat. And then we get here, trying to get another 40 out of us. If I had it, I'd give it to them because I really want to see that village. But I just don't have it. I didn't pull the money. So fuck it. We're going to look at this monkey and these fucking big ass crocodiles. And right now I'm going to try to find a fucking beer. And then we're going to go back. And that's just the way it is here in Cambodia. And you got to understand it. If somebody tells you it's seven bucks, you better pull 70. All right, they tell you it's 10, pull 100. That's just the way it is. Folks, that dude, that rude dude right there means business. I mean, he's staring right at me. A minute ago he had his eyes closed. Now this is some bitch staring right at me. I think it's because I got a big fucking dick. He's like, that's the biggest fucking hot dog. Probably not, but... I mean, that, that dude's got blood all around his teeth, so he's already been up to something today. Probably bit a fucking tail off one of his buddies, but that son of a bitch is huge. Holy shit, and this motherfucker right here coming on up there. Come on up there, dog! Yeah, so this is not what it was cracked up to be, folks. Uh, I've seen crocodiles before. I did not want to come out to the Tonle Sap fucking lake to see crocodiles. So I'm not really cool with this little adventure. And the fucking surprise extra 20 bucks per person to go see the fucking reality. So but basically I'm pissed off at this little tour. I went from being pissed off to, okay, this is going to be good. Back to being pissed off. Now I'm just ready to fucking go. There you go. Come, you come to Cambodia, realize that you're going to get your money one way or the other. It has not changed in 10 years since I've been coming here. The fucking scams just keep going. The estimation on the money is 10% of what you really got to pay. And now that you've been informed, if you come to Cambodia, it's a beautiful place. You go to Angkor Wat, it's beautiful, which I'm going there tomorrow. But at least the thing with Angkor Wat is that I know how much the ticket is for one day. It's like 37, 39, it's like 40 bucks. And I can spend all fucking day out there without getting ripped off and I can walk around at my leisure. But the, these jackasses here, you know, that basically promised us all this without telling us the extra 40 bucks. Big fuck you goes out to you gentlemen. That's just the way it's got to be. All right, well, I've seen crocodiles before, so I'm not even interested in seeing this shit. <laughs> Folks, I might sound like a pessimistic motherfucker, but I was really looking forward to going over there to the village. I just didn't understand that <sighs> I was getting scammed as usual. All right, so where's our boat? B, B-19, right? B-19? Yep. Where's our Capitan? All right, we're ready to go, gentlemen. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so back. So, when you go back, I can go with you. Come stay here. Yeah, all right. Okay, folks, we're out of here. Out of here, not impressed. All right, so you know what? I keep everything real on my channel. I'm not gonna blow sunshine up your ass. For 20 bucks a head to come out to the Tonley Sap Lake and look at some fucking crocodiles at this floating tourist trap, I, I couldn't even get a beer. I didn't even see it. Don't do it. Pass on this one, do not do it. It's not worth the money. I would rather spend an extra day at Angkor Wat, bypass this little trip, my recommendation, eh, no go, don't do it, it's a waste of fucking money, that's my opinion, 
Everybody's got an opinion, but I'm telling you right now, it ain't worth it. boats are passing danger close is because this damn thing is so shallow they have to stay in the very center of it now on the way over there you saw the one boat get get stuck so you're passing within inches of, of each other but it's for a damn reason if they don't stay right in the center you're gonna be beached on a fucking sandbar on the banks so when the captain tells you to keep your uh, hands and feet inside the boat he's not fucking around you put your hands outside this boat <clears throat> you're probably going to get it lopped off so keep your fucking limbs inside the boat <coughs> we'll get to the parking lot I'm going to throw a couple more of my thoughts in on this little trip folks just drop my damn flip-flop in the drink ah shit let me get up here to the top here and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little talk about how this little thing this whole little trip broke down what happened the pros and the cons and the reality of what you get on this little trip for a beer <laughs> it's time for a fucking 50 cent or one dollar beer as soon as we get back okay so right here no no thank you baby no thank you no no thank you and folks what she's trying to sell is little plates with uh no thank you baby no thank you so, no thank you, darling. Folks, the reason I can't buy the fucking plate, we don't have enough money. I feel horrible. I feel fucking horrible that I can't buy this plate, but they clipped us on the money. We weren't ready. My fault, not her fault. But it's the way it is. All right, so we're going to walk out here and I'm going to talk to you guys. Lesson number one in Southeast Asia is that if you pull up to a place like this and you look around and you see these big ass tour buses and if you can look behind me over there, there's nothing but a parking lot full of tour buses. That basically equates to Chinese tour groups. Now folks, you can take a spoonful of shit feed it to a Chinese tourist and tell them it's delicious and they're gonna be like mmm can I have one more they will believe any fucking thing great. that you put out there for them 
So when you pull up to a place that has a plethora of Chinese tour buses, Chinese tour groups, it's a fucking tourist trap. It's not reality. They build some, you know, in, around the region, they'll build these fucking places that have nothing to do with that region, and they shuffle the Chinese there, and the Chinese don't know any different. So when I pulled in here and I saw these Chinese tour fucking buses, I'm like, fuck. What we were sold on was, hey, take you out there, takes you around the local village, see how the people live, how much is the boat? It's about seven or eight bucks, is what Batman told us. You can negotiate with the boat captain, seven or eight bucks for the boat. We get here, it's $20 per person, okay? And then, and sure enough, you got your own boat and your own guide. So they hit us with 20 right up, right off the bat. It's a boat ride straight to that fucking tourist trap floating platform where you look at one monkey and some fucking crocodiles. That's not what we paid for. We thought we were going to see how the local people live. It's about a 15 minute walk, they said. You get to see the, the, the temple, you get to see the school, local shops, you can buy some things from the locals. We paid 20 bucks for a fucking boat ride out to look at a monkey. And then when we got there, you saw they wanted another 20 to take us where we thought we were going. So I like to look at the positive and the negatives and things. So the positive was for 20 bucks, we went on a nice boat ride. We had a little bit of information. Um, we got to see the Tonley Sap Lake. But it was not an $8 boat ride. It was 20 and 20. So we went on a actually a $40 boat ride. We did not get to see how the local people live. We did not get to, you know, buy stuff from the local shops or see the temple or any of that stuff. That would have been another 40 bucks. So when I pulled into this parking lot and saw all these fucking Chinese tour buses, I should have backed out and said, take us back right there. So it's all about expectations. Okay, anytime you do anything in Cambodia, if it's 10 bucks, you better be thinking it's 100 to get what you want. Number two, Chinese tour buses means fucking, uh, it's, it's not realistic. It's a, it's a show. All right, so the, the pros in this little trip, we got to take a nice boat ride for $20 each. That's it. But if you're wanting to go see uh, the people, how they live in the houses, Folks, it's $40 each. $40 each. And I'm assuming that once we got over there, we would have been hit with some more fees. I don't know, because obviously we didn't go. So just, just go with uh, expectations. If you come out here, you're paying 20 bucks for a boat ride to see the lake. You want to go see what you're paying to see, then that's an added 20 and you go from there. So, uh, Batman, bro, you told us a big fat fucking lie. But you got me, because when you gave me that $7 all day, take you out there, I'm like, oh shit, all right, well, he's quoting the local price. But, bro, you knew damn well it wasn't seven or eight bucks for the whole fucking boat. You had me believing that I was going to a floating market like in Thailand, and it's just going to take us around to some local vendors. So, I'm thinking, all right, probably eight bucks, it's just going to take us around little small rowboat no so you got us you got us bro but hey we won't be taking your shit no more that's the way things work you fucking you fucking <laughs> you fucking nabbed us at one time but we just won't deal with you no more and I guess why I'm kind of pissed off because I know better folks this ain't my first trip to Cambo and if you come to Cambo just realize that's the shit you're up against. This is not Thailand. You are not in Thailand anymore. You are not in Kansas anymore. I love Cambodia. I love the people, but you have to understand, as a tourist, it's like the national sport is to fucking rip you off. That's my opinion. Find our fucking ride and get back to beer drinking. Other than that, a great boat ride. Great boat ride for 20, 20 bucks each. But... Uh, 
not what we uh, came out here to do or see. And here you go. Here's a look around. All these big ass buses. Every one of these buses contains a Chinese tour group. You see that? You know, start uh, start thinking. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pull in here to a local spot. See if somebody has a cold beer. There has to be somebody that's got some beer on ice for this guy. Hello, yeah, beer, beer, cold beer. Maybe this guy's a customer. <laughs> I just roused the customer. I thought he was working there. Okay, thank you, my friend. I feel sorry for that dude. He was chilling. I thought he was. I thought he was the owner. I don't even see our tuk-tuk driver. Hello, you have cold beer? Beer? Yeah, beer. Is it cold? Uh, Folks, let's see. Gansberg, this Chinese? Gansberg, how much, my friend? One, one dollar. One dollar each? Yeah, two, two dollars. Okay, so two dollars? Yeah. All right, let me check my money. Folks, I thought this was Chinese. This says German, I think, premium beer. Gansberg? Never had this, but it's a German beer. Oh, this is going down the hatch. Okay, thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. <laughs> now we got to go on the hunt for this this disappearing tuk tuk driver. And you know what Batman pulled on us too? It wasn't even Batman that showed up. He sent his boy. Yeah, it wasn't even Batman that drove us. It was one of his buddies, so to speak. So we got to go hunt this dog down and I'm going to give him about five minutes to show up and then we're going to commission somebody else to take us back because this is bullshit. I ain't supposed to be hunting him. He's supposed to be hunting me. There he is. There he is. There's his friend. All right, my friend. Folks, we're almost back to the hotel. End of this little adventure. And you know what? Overall, I'm very glad we went on this little adventure. Um, even though I, I certainly wish we would have went the, the full mile. Got the full Monty! But we didn't. But we went before you, so if you come here, you know what to expect. Let's bring an extra. Let's bring 40 damn dollars and bite the bullet and go on the full tour. But yeah, overall, I'm glad we went on the adventure. We're almost back to the crib over here. And today was just a beautiful, beautiful day. Much cooler than yesterday, in my opinion. We're almost back to the to the hostel. Go look at some fat white chicks by the pool. And then figure out what we're going to do tonight, my friends. Skabada! Thanks for joining me.